Hey guys, my name is Confident. Welcome to the 24 minute lesson except where I will be sharing with you some ideas, some methods, some strategies or concepts that you can incorporate as you prepare for your final exams, be it you're studying for your mathematics N1, your N2 or your N3. Now, if these videos are handy and you are benefiting from them, you can actually press the like button or if you've got some ideas, you can leave some comments below. If you also like to be notified of extra videos every time we post them, you can subscribe to our channel and then you'll get some notification every time there are new videos. And also, if you are interested in some of our resources, be it test books and some videos, you can check this at the end of this video. We will send you some information. Now, let's check this concept out. Uh, expanding is an important concept for your mathematics N N1. And not only expanding, you need also to be able to expand and simplify. Now, to expand uh, this problem, how do you approach such a problem in an exam? This is your mathematics N1 and um, it is uh, something not difficult. You just need to be careful not to make some errors. And um, it is actually a good uh, question that can give you good marks. So now, how do you approach this kind of a problem? Now, when you are expanding, for example, you do what you call distributing. So you start with the A. So the A will multiply the first part there, which is the A cubed. It is positive in this case because um, if there is no sign before it, the default sign is positive. And the A again will multiply the following number with the sign. Don't forget the sign is important which is by that the a will multiply again the following number with the sign and the a will multiply again the following uh, a, a number with, together with the sign so that is what is actually happening the second part of distribution is when not only the two but this is considered as remember the two has got its sign it is not this is not two but it is minus two because the sign before belongs to the number that follows. So the negative 2 will start by multiplying the first number there. Then the negative 2 will also multiply that number with the sign. The negative 2 will multiply that number with the sign. That's where now the trick becomes with by negative and a negative. And the negative will come and multiply also that. So this is what we mean when we are saying we are distributing. So let us start with the first part, the top one, where a is multiplying. So you say equal to a times a cubed. So already there are three a's in a cubed. If you multiply by the fourth one, it is going to be a to the power of four. Again, a times three a squared. The sign, because a is positive, so all the signs will always remain the same. It is three a, but because it's squared and another a, it is going to be three a cubed a times minus 5a it is minus 5a squared now in this case and a times minus 6 it is minus 6a you can see that because the a was positive nothing was changing it was just the a cubed the a squared the a to the power 4 that was being distributed but now the second one is where you need to be careful because it involves the signs so you're going to say minus 2 times a cubed now the negative is powerful over the positive it will be minus 2a cubed again minus 2 times positive 3a squared you what you're doing is you are multiplying in this case minus 2 times positive 3 you can see that the negative is powerful it is the negative 6 in this case a squared again it's negative 2 times negative 5 so you have got the negative 2 times negative 5 in this case you're going to get a positive 10 you can see that i'm using a calculator to avoid errors but it's negative 10a so i'm using a calculator to avoid errors i'll always encourage you to also do the same so the negative 2 times negative 6 again a negative and a negative so it's negative 2 times negative 6 so negative times a negative is positive so it's 2 times 6 which is 12 now when i've done that 
So the main part actually in this uh, lesson, what they were trying to uh, test was, are you able to do this without uh, making some errors? Now you have done the first part whereby they say remove the brackets. Now the second part, it says simplify. By simplifying, it means you're going to collect the like terms and add whatever needs to be added, subtract what needs to be subtracted, and then leave the final answer there. So now, how do you go about that? You start by checking what is like, by what is alike. You just, let's start with the a to the power 4. If ever there is any other a to the power 4, if there is nothing, we just write it as first a to the power 4 plus we now look for the power of 3, I have got 1 there. For the power of 3, I have got that one there. But you take it with the number, so it's plus 3a to the power of 3 and minus 2a to the power of 3. I have dealt with that. The next one, I'll check again, do I have power of 2? Yes, I have got that to the power of 2 and I've got that as power of 2 so it means those are alike but don't forget I must take it with the number and the sign so it is minus 5a squared and minus 6a squared the next part I look for is the a part I've got that a and I've got that a don't forget again to take with the sign so it is not only a but it's minus 6a plus 10a and lastly is the number which is 12 in this case which is just plus 12 so you must actually check again if ever you did count take everything uh, in this case to make sure that you didn't forget any so usually that's why I mark them usually with my pencil and then I can erase after that to make sure that I did not forget any of these after that I have then to add what needs to be added so I've got my a to the power 4 is alone now I take my calculator for the first one I just focus on the numbers forget about the a cubed and a cubed you focus on the number and say 3 minus 2 it's 1 so I've got positive don't forget 1 a cubed so you write the, uh, the sign which is very important the number and the sign you move on to the next one for the a squared which is for the a squared is minus 5 and then minus 6 so it's minus 5 minus 6 which is minus 11 don't forget the sign is negative 11 you just retain your a squared then you move on to the a part and the a part is minus 6 plus 10 in this case is a positive 4 so it is just plus 4 don't forget you are dealing with the variable of a in this case and the last part of the number was a 12. now when you have done that you see that it's a to the power of 4 is a to the power of 3 minus 11a squared plus 4a plus 12. you cannot simplify this further you cannot add it further because a to the power of 4 is different from a to the power of 3 which is different from uh, a squared which is different from a and which is different from 12 so that is what is limiting you from adding or separating this further that is the final solution and as i usually uh, prove it um, you can actually test your answer to see if ever you yeah, let's test it to see that did i uh, maintain my answer or did i um is my answer still uh, is it correct so what I do is I choose any value of a just any value it mustn't be out of like you can say let a be a thousand or just simple value of a for example let a be equal to let's say three just any simple number so what you do is you are going to substitute remember this is the testing you must you don't have to include this actually it's not supposed to be in your in your final solution you are doing it in your rough work so where there is a you are going to say 3 remember a i said is 3 so it's 3 to the power 4 plus 1 put a bracket is 3 to the power of 3 minus 11 put a bracket 
is 3 to the power of 2. In this case, 3 to the power of 2, close the bracket, and then plus 4, then you have got 3, and then you have got plus 12. So if I now take my calculator to simplify that, it's 3 to the power of 4, and then plus 1, 3 to the power of 3, and then minus 11, bracket 3 squared, and then plus 4 into 3, as well as plus 12. If you do that, my answer is 33. So if I say I got my answer as 33 there, this is my answer. Now I'm going to test this that test it also in the in the first uh, question that I was given but wh wherever there is a in this case I'm going to say 3 minus 2 there and again I'm going to say 3 cubed remember I must maintain the same a plus 3 into 3 squared minus 5 into 3 minus 6 it is because of my space there take a calculator and punch it as it was appearing in that case so I've got a bracket first which is 3 minus 2 close the bracket open the bracket is 3 cubed um, plus 3 into 3 uh, play it back let me do it again. It is um, 3 minus 2. And then I've got 3 cubed plus 3 into 3 squared. And then I close the bracket. And then I've got minus 5 into 3. And then I've got minus 6. Then I close that bracket. You see that I've got 33 as the answer there, which is equal to... 33. Now you can see that the same answer is maintained from the final solution to uh, as well as the one from the beginning, the question that I'm given. If such an answer is maintained, it means that my simplifying is correctly done. It is still the same as the original solution. So this is how you can use to make sure that you did not make an error. I hope this was of benefit to you. Thank you. I hope the video that you just watched was of benefit to you and as I said if you benefited from the video you can press the like button or you can leave us a comment below and if you want to be notified of these videos you can always uh, subscribe to our channel now if you want the full curriculum of this mathematics if you are studying for mathematics n1 n2 or n3 and you want the test book as well as the videos we have a full um, curriculum of the mathematics n1 n2 n3 as well as the accompanying videos we also have videos of the previous question papers the latest papers that were written in video form these question papers can assist you as you prepare for your exams we also have pdf version of the previous question papers that were that were written since 2014 until now and if you want them, you can check all the information from our website and trust me, these will become very handy to you. Uh, we sell them at a very discounted prices and it is worth the try. Thank you.